hello everyone welcome to the engineering projects youtube channel in this video tutorial we will use a calendar or date picker via bootstrap in asp project uh, we have created a uh, action method or action result here right click here click on add view and we don't use any layout page or if you want to use click on here and search for the uh, layout page in the views sure here is the layout click ok and add so here we have a layout and uh, now use at html oops html dot editor and use uh, date picker okay so here is our calendar or date picker now go to the layout page and uh, here you have to add some references for bootstrap date picker css and js okay uh, after that you can execute the calendar or date picker i will replicate the references here which you can easily found from the google here is the cdn links now create the js to execute date picker here we have a function Now, uh, add hash date picker the ID of the input box dot date picker, and that's it. And now, execute that, execute this in your Firefox click here and it start executing in the Firefox remember that uh, in the editor we have used date picker and in JavaScript we are using date picker as an ID as a ID uh, to initiate date picker even that you can modify uh, the data in date picker by using its uh, documentation and uh, passing some variables to it like change month change year format or language of a calendar or date picker here uh, we have date picker but it's not initiated uh, let's pass up 12 okay uh, it's not defined okay so what we have to do the actual thing is happening is that some code is uh, blocking the other code in the layout file so we will not use any layout we will say it is null and put all references here create a html tag html in closing head and body in the head pass all the references which you require okay and here is the bootstrap library and uh, in the body pass this uh, now refresh the page and you will get the results uh, it's executing 
and here is the result actually uh, some jQuery code is affecting on the default jQuery code that's why the errors occur but if you will resolve the error of libraries it will work fine I hope this video tutorial is informative for you if you have any kind of question regarding this you can ask us and don't forget to subscribe the engineering projects YouTube channel take care bye bye